Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. What are we doing? Uh, not so blind, featuring Michael's samples. Oh. You ready to pick one? I get to pick? Yep. Why not? Uh, Grab something good. They're all good, I'm sure. I don't want that one. Why? I don't know. I didn't even know what it is. It's Willer Foolproof. Ooh. <laughs> I do want I'm that like, one. I'm like, I don't think you don't want this one. <laughs> I do want that one. Uh, so, if you guys are just tuning in, uh, one of our fans sends us samples. Fans? I don't fans? Like that word. Friends? What I, I don't know. Friend. I don't He's like a fan. friend. Okay. So um, we send samples back and forth with him. He started sending us samples and bottles. And it's very gracious, very knowledgeable, asks us a bunch of questions and stuff. We really appreciate our conversations with him. And he sent us a 12 pack of samples. And John and I looked at each other and were like, what? I don't know what else to do. And John came up with the idea of like kind well, of like doing our own. used to do that sublime, but with stuff that we didn't like don't really have time to really blind so much. We have so many whiskeys. I know. Why not do once or twice a week of not so blind? It's kind of fun. I just gotta get all this stuff off. There we go. Maybe. Now we're gonna try to be as unbiased as possible. Oh. Hold on. Little schmutz on the rim. Wash them better. Do it yourself. Exactly. I still don't have much alcohol on it. Oh, but it's foolproof. Yeah. Definitely a Weller. It does smell like Weller. That's interesting. I think that's the first one I've ever... Weller has its own uniqueness to it. It smells like lower alcohol than 107. Okay. So, Buffalo Trace, obviously, because it's lovely Weller. Um, SRP is $50. Good luck finding it for that. Yeah. Um, mash bill is undisclosed, but it is Buffalo Trace's weeded mash bill. Corn, wheat, and malted barley, and it was released annually starting the summer of 2020. Wow. I thought it was higher than 114 it's 114 the, proof. A picture of it. Um, this is off of Breaking Bourbon. You guys know that we use their site a lot. We appreciate the information that they get from us. So typical Weller bottle, but it has a royal blue label, which I think is really stellar. But I could be wrong, but most, if not all, full proofs are store picks. I think so. As far as I could tell, there might be some that's not, but. I mean, that'd be an easy way to do it, but I think when they first started, they were, because remember that one store in Ohio had all the store picks? Yeah, well, Ohio doesn't really do store picks. They, but that was the I only place know. that it showed up at. Yeah. Got to set it before me. Yeah. Don't want your cooties. That tastes 114 proof. It does? To me. I think antique tastes hotter. Mm. That's got some killer flavor to it though. This is heavy on like the apples and pears, vanilla, some oak, but with Wellers, I don't really get that much oak. No. That's got good baking spice, good cinnamon. Yeah. That's. Mm. That's got a lot of good flavor to good it. Good weeders are some of my favorites. Man. Okay. You get on the nose and smells and everything. Taste. God, that's very, very mm. whiskey barrel to me. <laughs> like when we cleaned them out, I get like that heavy oak. Yeah. Oak and cinnamon and like. When we were cleaning out the barrels, it had beer in it. Uh, it smelled like straight caramel and char. Yeah. I um, have butterscotch on that one. 
I was gonna say, I get like a, a vanilla caramel on it, like the, the squares. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give the nose a four. Just quick ratings, I'm gonna give the nose. Wellers are some of my favorite smelling it. I'm gonna give it a 4.75. Taste, I'm gonna give an eight and a half. It's a little huggy for me, but because it's got that weeded mash bill, it's a little toned down. So it does give you a little kick in the ass at first, but it kind of goes away and it Your leaves- ass is right here. Yeah, I drink a lot of high proof, so I don't really get that Yeah, you kick don't or get it, anymore. but I do. Um, so, I mean, it's good, but the, the flavor is really robust. It's really nice and rich, and I really like that. I'm going to... 9.25. Oh, okay. I like it. I think there's some better weeders out there. It is probably a single barrel, so it could vary a little bit. Um, I've had some antiques that I think were better than this. But I've also had some that were just mm. didn't seem like a good batch. So yeah, mediocre. I'd probably lean toward this one over antique. So finish for me it it's very velvety. It's very nice yeah, in your mouth. It's it very, very palatable. Velvety. It sticks around for a while. I've still got a nice little cinnamony. It kind of oakiness. sticks like in the back. Yeah, and... it's like right here. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's nice. It's got a really nice finish to it, and it's perfect. And I'm, I'm gonna give it full points for me. What did you add? Two point five. Finish is five. Okay. Well, then we're at another two point five. I'm gonna give it a four and a half on the finish. Oh. Rude. Um, I am going to give the look, now that we both took a big old gulp of it, it's very pretty. It's very shimmery. It's like got an orange hue to it. I'm going to say mahogany. Like a golden orange brown color. So, I mean, it's got nice legs. It beads up really nice. I'm a big fan of the bead line. And it doesn't have a terrible one, but it doesn't have a great one either. But I'm going to give it a two. I'll give it a two also. And the bottle, I mean... It's Weller. It's, it's Weller. It's a, it's a good... <laughs> I, I do like, like it. it. I'm going to give it a two. I like the 12 year better just because I think the black and gold is nice. I like nice. antique. Well, antique is nice Red's too. Red's my favorite color, so... Yeah. So you're giving it a two? Yeah. I think I'm going to give it a two, two. Two, two? Two, two. You put two, two on it. All right. That will bring it to an 88. 88. That is good. Um... I keep comparing it to Antique because they're all about the same age, Antique, Special Reserve. And you've had Antique for, in your brain for the last yeah, three weeks. Yeah, I've been weeks. wanting it. I've been <laughs> craving it. The whole thing that surprises me <laughs> is it doesn't taste like Antique, though. It's got I mean, its own profile. You kind of can get that Weller, they all have that same, like, you, apple-y, woody, yeah, You can taste that it's definitely a Weller product, but it has its own uniqueness antique, to it hits the spot for me in a certain taste and this kind of it's only seven proof points higher you'd think it would taste similar but it doesn't well they're doing their own thing they're right? both equally as good in my opinion but for the price and availability not really that it's available you probably can go for antique yeah if they're both sitting on a shelf you'd think yeah antique. well depends on the price Mm -hmm. If they were both priced at what they're supposed to be priced, probably grab both. Oh, well. Yeah. Not that we'll ever find them that way. I'd go quite high on this. I'd probably go 100, 125 for a bottle. I've been going higher and higher on antique <laughs> too because that it's getting harder to find in one bottle just to sip on here and there. You're not allowed to go shopping anymore. Yeah, well, I can't find this stuff anyway. Oh, well, either way. There is a restaurant up the road. My yeah. work's competitor. It's only a, what six bucks a a pour. Six twenty five a shot. Not bad at all. I've killed what three bottles there so yeah. far. Golly. Going gee. to the competitor for some good whiskey. So much luck. Don't go to Manelli's. Leave the whiskey for me. Oh yeah. All right. Well, there you guys have it. That is our not so blind Michael edition. <laughs> have... I got like a a cola taste on that. I don't know why. You know when it like bubbles in the back and goes through your nose? Maybe because we were just drinking RC a little while ago. Mm, it reminded me of that. Well, 
There you have it. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.